Hi guys, so I wanted to talk to you about um, this coronavirus that's going on in mental health. Like, for me, um, well, I've talked about my mental issues openly before, you know, anxiety, depression, borderline personality disorder and all these things. And, you know, being inside for me is not necessarily the best thing. I prefer to be alone a lot because um, I know myself and other people don't know me and I, you know, I can seem weird or too difficult to deal with and blah, 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 things of that nature. But one thing I can say is that definitely if you can open a window, get some sun, go for a walk outside and not be around too many people, that's definitely going to boost your self. It's going to boost your emotional well-being. It's going to boost your uh emotional health give a, a surge to your emotional health because I know that today I need to go outside like I can feel it you know I've been in I've been you know self-isolating because we're in a very precarious situation now where from day to day we have no idea where we're going um, because they've closed borders so um, that too is very stressful and I'm trying to maintain, you know, a sense of calm while living in reality. So um, the one thing I know that this, this is the perfect Petri dish for depression to rise up. So what I'm doing right now is the simple things. Keep it as simple as you can but keep it normal, I hate that word, but do your regular routine. Do your regular routine, for example. The very act of brushing my teeth sometimes is much because that means I need to get out of the bed to do that. And in this climate that we find ourselves in, they're already telling us to stay inside. So getting out of the bed is like doubly difficult. So I just, I have all my stuff here. I have my toothpaste. This is the toothbrush I use to uh, shave my head. I have my toothbrush here. Um, I have my my soap. I'm going to do a mask. And I have everything here. And I'm just going to do it all at once. I've been making comedy videos on my other channel. Um, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to post this one on my main channel. Um, and I've been trying to... Uh, well, my first channel, main. This is first channel. Um, so I've been doing things that I can do inside. Like I said, posting funny videos. I posted a video where I did um, the He's Got the Whole World in His Hands a challenge on my other channel. Like that, that my other channel is more for like, you know, my sensual side and my funny side. And this one I like to do like more like about our travels and um, about women I'm having like issues with mental health and things like that. So that's, that's how I like to keep things organized and this is how I am. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna brush my teeth. I'm gonna already have soap on my face, but it's, it's a gel, so it's, um, you can't see it. But I'm gonna rinse that off, then I'm gonna do a mask. Um, and I'm staying in the bathroom until I accomplish all of those things because you know it's tempting when you have depression to um be like oh no I'll, I'll come back later the procrastination and depression are like best friends okay but you for me and maybe it'll help you also I bring everything in the bathroom you know and take it how you want it because of the anxiety I don't want other people touching my stuff so I've really I have a lot of issues with people touching my things. So and I know that about myself. This is the thing. I know my strengths and my weaknesses. And whether you see not wanting other people to touch your stuff as a strength or a weakness, you can use it. Because I know that 
the place where we are now, they have uh, other people that live here also. So in my mind, I'm always like, oh my God, if I don't, if I don't take my stuff out of the bathroom, they're gonna touch my stuff and they're gonna move me. And then I'm, I don't know which, what did they touch? What part of their uh, body did they touch with it? Ew, I have to boil everything. To, so to avoid that, I just go in the bathroom like I'm in here now. I have all my stuff and I do everything here and I take everything out before those people come back because you know, part of the anxiety, um, I know everybody's schedule. I know when they come in, when they go out, when they go to the toilet. Like, so I know I have a certain amount of time to do my self-care. And that's what I do. And then, you know, I shaved my head um, two days ago. That helps, you know. Um, I'm just staying on my intermittent fasting. That's helping. Um, today, I know the only thing that I can do really different than what I've been doing is I need to go outside. Like I've been opening the window, but I need like the fresh air, like to be over my body. I can feel it. And so um, I'm going to do that. Not for long, just maybe even a couple minutes will be good. So I'm just listening to see if I hear anybody. Um, thing. Yeah. So I hope this video is not too down and out. I hope that... Um, you got something from like sometimes I don't want to upload uh, videos about mental health because I don't want to pe send people further into depression or further into anxiety or further into an episode. I don't want to do that. I do not want to do that. However, I know that a lot of times about mental health, people don't want to talk about it, but it's needed and it's necessary. And sometimes that word of advice, that piece of advice, that suggestion that you get from someone else can help you and bring you up out of an episode or bring you up out of something. So that's why I do the videos and that's why I post them. Sorry at the beginning of this video. So I'm telling you, mental health is a big thing for me and it's really, like I really have to focus on my mental health. I really have to put a strong effort into focusing on my mental health, especially during this time because I can see when I'm faltering or wavering to one side or the other and that's not good the extremes are not good so I try to stay even though I'm not a person that likes to stay in the middle I'm either on one side or the other but I've learned that for my mental health everything has to be in balance sometimes if I know okay I can feel a depressive episode come on and I'm just like it's nothing I can do so I try to surround myself with everything else that's going to like counterbalance that I know I can't be around this certain type of people I can't be in this environment so I know those things. So I try to like build a protection around myself, even though I'm going to be in, it's nothing I can do because it's a period, it's a chemical imbalance. It's nothing I can do. Um, I try to do everything else that's in my power to do, that's in my control to do, to protect myself and to try to balance out the negative effects of the depression and the anxiety. The anxiety is something else. The anxiety I feel like is the... I was watching this movie the other day and it was about the trickster. For, for me, that's how anxiety is. It's a kind of like tricks you because sometimes you think it's it's like, is it the anxiety or is it me just like um, a gut feeling? A gut feeling. Is it my gut feeling or is it the anxiety or is it paranoia? And every time I have a feeling, I have to quickly, 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 quickly ask myself these questions because sometimes I need to make a split decision, you know, especially with this so, I mean, they're refining out sales in, like I told you guys, are going day to day. And I don't have the luxury of waiting two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. And so that also, you know, affects my anxiety because anxiety always got you be like this, you know. And I don't need another environment that's also got me super stressed. So I'm trying to manage and I'm trying to focus and everything and I'm in this situation right now I really don't want to talk about it right now because it's like I'm in it and sometimes when I'm in stuff and I talk about it it's, it's too much um, so, um but there's something that's beyond my control okay and it's really it's starting to get me angry um I I am anxious about it but I also kind of know ways around it. So that's helping, but it's also making me angry because I just want it to go away. Um, but it's nothing I can do about it. So I'm just trying to do everything I can, like I'm saying. So 
if you're in, if you have mental health issues, if you're struggling with your mental health during this time, make a list if you have to. I'm steady making lists. Make a list of things that you can control, what you can do. Get up every day and brush your teeth. Get up every day and wash your face. Get up every day, not every day for the mask, but every other day or whenever you're mask. Keep those things like regular. Whatever you can keep regular, keep it regular. Because in this time of uncertainty, you know, those are, that's like the perfect chaotic environment for the uh, mental disorders to act up. So I'm praying for you guys. I'm praying for myself. I'm praying for everybody, for the world, for the globe. Um, what else can we do? What else can we do, guys? We got to help each other out. I, I can't stress that enough. That this is a time when, of course, self-preservation is, is, is at the forefront. But help somebody else. If you can help somebody else, help somebody else. Don't grab that last roll of toilet paper. I mean, I made, you know, a funny video about toilet paper on my other channel. But I'm serious. Like, don't grab the last can of corn, the last tub of peanut butter. Don't do that. If you have to walk off and leave the other one or the other two or three or four on the shelf don't do that food is not going to run out in my opinion the because they are essential and they're allowed to cross borders to cross city lines state lines blah blah, blah. they're not on lockdown they're not you're not going to starve so please if that's what you're worried about and that's what you're having anxiety about i really don't think it's it's warranted like you're going to have food your families it's it's a struggle. Maybe you're not gonna have the filet mignon. You have to have the hot dog, or and I don't even eat meat, but eat eat, eat a, a, some couscous or rice. But please, try to just stay regular, and that's gonna help us stay calm. I love you guys. Ciao for now. Toodles. Mwah.